mind that maybe they are still desh am so big they believe that it was he was not a true prophet of god knows better mazari that could not have been ascended to have a period that is beyond his capacity mm-hmm. he must have been somewhere they believe he died so that we killed him still. he must be somewhere <laughs> right anyway the dibam sir mentioned that jesus was hiding in that city for quite a few days he could not have traveled right away because of his wounds it was not possible for him so he must have been hiding because there are some verses you say don't tell anyone about me that is possible before his arrest or could be after or two but anyway he was hiding some few days just like the prophet said i'm so the holy prophet was right he was hiding in the cave for three days and three nights then he traveled not immediately of course there was risk to that so maybe he was hiding somewhere we don't know but anyway this topic is still open for you make your own research Wait, well, I, I, guess I think I was a little ahead of myself. But that's why I was saying if, if the, 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 you know, we're, we're talking about Jews. We're not talking about Christians. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Good information, Dr. Sir. Yeah. Just a question. Uh, other than this, not to say track you. Did Christ marry? I'll show you his uh, nikah forms. سرکالوجی <laughs> in Srinagar who made a lot of research about the tomb of Jesus and he said he belonged to his progeny. So, Hazur said, it's not true. Yeah. It's not true because this was actually symbolically. Mm-hmm. That was the sign actually, the end of the promise which Allah has made with Abraham. Mm-hmm. That's why he was created, he was born fatherless, showing that, you know, this is the end. Mm-hmm. So, this was symbolically, you know, this is the end of that, you know, Uh, dissension, you say that the family which was coming generation after generation, that's the end. That's why even the Prime Minister did mention that. Mm-hmm. That was the reason that he was fatherless. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. Plus the person who is born fatherless can have children. Mm-hmm. Another natural problem. Mm-hmm. See, I'm, I'm teaching a few things too. All right, let me t- discuss with you another thing. Because I don't, um, I should go to the verses of the Quran. Another thing, Tarsa, you, you are surprised to know. that the, the hearing which took place in the court of Pontius Pilate of two phases, not one. I'm sorry, we are, most of the time we are confused. The first is, which is of course two parts, two accusations. First was that you ask people of Jerusalem to do a disobedience disobedience to the law. Rebel, yeah. huh? rebel, 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 rebel,
not to pay the bills and all that. This call, can't come this call. When you know, person says, don't make the payments to the government. Taxation. Disobedience. Taxation. No, no. Rebellion. Civil disobedience. Civil. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, sir. Civil, Civil disobedience. Uh -huh. So first he was accused that you say that don't give you know taxes. He says, show me what you have. And he, he said, whose picture is on that? Yes. King of Rome. It belongs to give it him. Right? So he, you know, cleared his saying that, I never said that you don't pay the taxes, but this is the way. He was very actually wise person and very, you know, deep conversation and he most of the time talked about in the parables. So the way he says it, they were stunned. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> because that was a false accusation. The second was that you claim you are the king of the Jews. Are you the king? Right? What did he say? He said, you say that I am. You say it. I don't say it. He said, my kingdom is of the heaven. Nothing to do with this worldly kingdom. I don't claim. But they put, you know, king of Jews. Anyway, now it is work. He washed his head. He said, I see he is clear. I don't see anything wrong in him. They said, all right. Now, love, bless me. Second phase. All right, okay, that's fine. Roman Empire, the Roman law is okay, but there is a local law. If anyone is like committing blasphemy, right, giving false witnesses, he should be punished. That's why they asked that, are you the son of God? What did he say? You say that I am. Again he denied. He said, what is the first of all commandments, sir? One of the Jews said, which one is the first of all commandments? He said, the first of all commandments is, Hear, O Israel, your Lord is one God. Again, it was clear. Right? He said, it's all right. Now you take it. Pontius Pilate says, you take it and, I uh, would say, promulgate your law. Not the, the, Roman, the Roman law. He said, but we can't give the death sentence. We can't give him, it means that unless you gave the verdict, we have no authority to give him the death, death penalty. And we want him to give him capital punishment. Then he said, all right, you do, take him and do with your, whatever you please. Whatever you please. Mm -hmm. Then he was handed over, mm -hmm. and I was discussing with Dr. Gozar Saab that I was discussing, and I was really astonished to know that the Roman Empire had given that right to the Jews that they can promulgate their own law, like their own Jewish law, Talmudic law. And that was taken back from them on the 17, 70 AD, 70 AD, when the Titus of Rome attacked on Jerusalem and killed hundreds of thousands of Jews and destroyed the temple. Afterward, that right was taken away from them by the Roman Empire Titus. Before, they had that law that they can use. That's why they say, all right, if not that one, all right, he is committing the blasphemy. And blasphemy is nothing to do with the Roman Empire, you understand? Right. Amen? Right. Nothing to do with the Roman Empire. They That's are right. pagans. That's right. They were the pagans. They had no religion. Like, we don't so what they are going that. to do with the blasphemy? <laughs> right? Yes. They immediately turned to that. Hey, he is committing the blasphemy. Then they started asking these questions which were the religious, actually, um, Related to our religious nature, or is related to the religion? Which, which one is the first of all commandments? Are you the son of God? You know, all these things. They say, all right. Then, you know, the, 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 uh, the high priest, one is Annas. A double N N N A A N N A S. How do you pronounce it? N S? Annas, yes. Annas? Yes. Annas is a good name, but let's say N S. <laughs> Annas is a very good name in Arabic. Annas means the person who loves everyone. Yes. Annas, okay? Yes. He was the father in law to Caiaphas, who was the high priest. Mm -hmm. And he was of course very angry too because he was he was about to be or maybe he was removed from his office. We are like a Jewish high priest. They are the two who were very much troublemakers. Mm. They were the forefront. And Caiaphas is the person who, you know, he said, you know, he tore his uh, shirt. Oh, he committed a blasphemy. 
When he says, are you the son of God? He says, you say that I am. He says, oh my 